The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. Hello everyone. You probably remember my video from a few weeks ago showing you my yearling Blandings turtles, which have been making a lot of progress in their growth. This video will show you those same yearlings, as you see here, as compared to new hatchlings that we just got in. Uh, we're very excited about those. So we have the two yearlings, and now, as you see here, um, four of these small hatchlings, which is the comparison on the right. Um, these hatchlings are um, only a few weeks old and are robust. They are active. They're eating. Uh, they look great right now, and we're really excited about it. We moved them into that small aquarium where the yearling blandings were um, previously being kept. And um, thanks to a bunch of um, oak twigs, oak branches, and oak leaves, um, there's a nice uh, tannic uh, environment for them, and um, the leaves also provide um, good resting area for uh, the turtles while they acclimate to the new environment. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. These little guys are uh, will eventually become or grow into uh, one of the most long-lived and uh, cold tolerant species on the planet, if not the most cold tolerant. Um, adults grow to be uh, about seven to nine inches and I believe the record is 10.1 inches uh, in straight carapace length. It has been reported that it takes these guys about 14 to 20 years to reach maturity in the wild. We hope that in captivity it moves a little uh, quicker than that since we are raising these up from hatchlings. Uh, I also advise anyone who lives within the range of this animal not to tamper with any wild animals as this species is protected throughout its range. But for those hobbyists who do not, um, I really recommend keeping them. They're an amazing animal and they can use the help even if it is through captive breeding. Thanks. For more information on this and other exciting colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com.